Welcome back to Sunrise. With me now is John McCurry with McCurry Angus Ranch. How are you this week? I'm great. And you, Landry? Very good. Tell me a little bit about op your operation and where you're located. Um, McCurry Angus Ranch, it's a family operation. My parents started. Uh, they were both third generation Angus breeders. Married in 1977. It's kind of the inception of, the, of what it is today. Um, we live in south central Kansas, just 10 miles from Hutchinson, 40 from Wichita. Um, it was a small, modest operation until I come home from Kansas State University 11 years ago. And then uh, we've been in expansion mode, I guess, ever since. Now there's approximately 250 fall and spring Kevin cows that we use uh, AI extensively and embryo transfer to produce the bulls for our spring bull sale and private treaty. And you've sold some cattle this week. Tell me how that went and tell me what it's like working with Superior Livestock and being ringside. It's great. I, well, we've had, my, why I mainly come here was uh, we had about 20 customer loads of calves selling this week. Those gentlemen uh, buy those bulls from us and then it's just my part to do, come here and try to help them market those cattle, meet people. Uh, we brought some of those customers out with us this year. Um, kind of started with, you know, our involvement with Superior seven years ago or so through our uh, two local reps that actually rep most of these calves that uh, sold here this week. Uh, and it's led into now we're one of those reps, you know, I help on a weekly basis, probably video and load and sorting cattle for him as well. Talk to me about the other involvements you have with Superior. It's uh, through that, uh, you know, helping our local reps uh, sort and load. It's also broadened her horizons on uh, both customers for buying yearlings, uh, have this maybe more hands-on approach with the beef industry itself through all facets of uh, the feeder stocker operations, grazing operations, and, and cow-calf as well. Talk about the Superior Progressive Genetics. We got on Superior Progressive Genetics about a year and a half ago, and main thing we thought it was due is add value um, to, to reward those customers for the genetics that they were buying uh, to try to get that displayed to the buyers. Uh, so last year about here at Steamboat was the first big run of our, you know, where we were Superior Progressive Genetics qualified. Uh, and then again, like I said, uh, there was a 20 loads of calves this week that were then Superior Progressive Genetics. And I think I was visiting with Mr. Barber uh, that kind of runs your Progressive Genetics, and he was saying that it adds at least $3 a hundred uh, with that label and then up, up to $6 a hundred if it's got an actual ranch logo next to it. Oh, that's great. And um, I know um, your family is a part of the Angus business a lot. Tell me about the importance of, of staying a, a part of the Angus breed. We've tried to be active, and that's just you know, that my parents have instilled in us. Uh, my mom's a past president and very involved still today in the American Angus Auxiliary. Uh, I was a National Junior Angus Board member, um, and, you know, next week will be the largest um, event for that. Our National Junior Angus Show is in Tulsa, Oklahoma, and there's approximately 1,800 head entered. Uh, and in the last 10 years, we've uh, tried to get junior members started and do a good job of educating them about, you know, the, both the breed and the business. Well, I do want to brag on um, McCurry Angus Ranch a little bit. They were awarded the 2000, 2015 Beef Seed Stock Fed Producer of the Year by the Beef Improvement Federation. So I just want to congratulate you guys, and that's a very um, big accomplishment. Yes, ma'am. I appreciate it. Great to be here. Folks, when we come back, another special guest. Stay with us.